All right, we're going to keep this moving. Your next comic coming up to the stage, I just think, as a person, is so wonderful. And he could be Portland's funniest person. Put your hands together for Ben Rowell! All right, Helium, how you guys doing? Having a good time, yeah? Uh, so I realize I'm a pretty average white guy look. Uh, like, if Portland were a video game, it'd just be that, like, default starter, like, white guy character. If you get enough points, you unlock my flannel level. Uh, like, literally all the time when I meet people, one of the first things people say to me is like, Oh, hey, man, I know somebody looks just like you. <laughs> Great. Like, first of all, that's rude. It's like being like, oh, hey, man, you know your face? It's unoriginal, I've seen it. Uh, in fact, the other guy I know does you a little bit better. Why don't I give you his number? You could probably use some tips. Um, but, uh, and then like, secondly, like, first it's rude. Secondly, like, what do you want out of that conversation? Like, what's your end goal? Like, oh great, you know something you kind of looks like me. Uh, here's your $12 finder's fee. Is he available on Thursday? I need to break up with my girlfriend. <laughs> Or like, are you hoping my reaction's gonna be, Oh my god, did you find him in Ohio? We lost my brother there. <laughs> and like some parent trap sort of scenario is gonna play out, that's not gonna happen. Just please, please stop doing that. Um, <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys drinking the drinks? Drinking the drinks tonight? Yeah. I've been trying to cut back on the alcohol. Uh, it's cause like, I'm probably an alcoholic, but I'm just like a really boring one. Like, like, I've never, like, been kicked out of a bar, but I have woken up to find a frozen pizza still in my oven. <laughs> like, I've never, like, woken up and had some, like, huge bar tab on my credit card, but I have, like, ordered Pinterest project materials that I don't remember what they're for. <laughs> like, I've never had to rebuild a friendship after a crazy night of drinking, but I have had to rewatch the second half of Hunger Games. <laughs> What happened to Katniss? Um, uh, I think it would be funny if uh, there was an all-Filipino, all-female brass ensemble called the Philippian Tubes. <laughs> Very proud of that one. Um, uh, See, so yeah. My parents are weird, I have weird parents. Like, uh, growing up, I was just never able to rebel very well against them, because my dad could just kind of, like, one-up anything I did. <laughs> like, uh, I got a DUI, called my parents up. It's like, hey, Dad, I got a DUI. And Dad's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. When I was your age, I had, like, three of those. <laughs> well, I got a tattoo, called my parents up again. Like, I got a tattoo. Oh, well, that's cool. I got a bunch of tattoos. I got uh, this one in prison, which I was in probably those DUIs. <laughs> Call him up again, like, hey, I did, uh, I did like some mushrooms in the woods with my friends. Oh, that's cool. I used to sell meth. <laughs> You're a disappointment. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, couldn't really match that, so my, my rebellion was just like going to college, like, fuck you, dad. I'm gonna learn calculus. <laughs> Ask them if they want me to help with their taxes, uh, they don't want to enable me, so that was out. Uh, I went to, uh, went to a Whole Foods one time looking for uh, some Advil, and that wound up being a mistake. Uh, they have like half an aisle devoted just to fish oil, which seems, seems excessive. I don't know how much fish oil we need as a country. We might be using too much. Um, but, uh, so I couldn't find any, so I was like, asked this dude to work there. He's like, hey man, like, do you guys got like some Advil around here? He's like, Advil? No. We have a willow bark. <laughs> Like, in this tone that was like, you ain't from around here, are you, boy? <laughs> it was a little, a little aggressive, but, uh, I thought I could probably take him if it came down to it. I'm pretty sure hot yoga's not a fighting style, so... <laughs> sure those guys do a lot of that, so I'm not really sure what they do. Um, I, uh, I read this thing online, um, about, uh, that, uh, like, there's a sex worker girl, and, but what she did 
for the sex work was uh, she would just like eat food on her webcam, and like that, like a lot of people writing about it were like, oh, this is so controversial. I just kept thinking like, damn, that's got to be the most reasonable fetish out the market right now. <laughs> Other fetishes are like, have sex with a horse, or bang 20 dudes. This is like, eat a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Just have a nice meal, that's all I want for you. <laughs> it's like, got me thinking, like, I would like to bust into this, like, reasonable fetish market. <laughs> so, just let me know if any of you are into this after the show. Uh, if you'd love to see a man half-assedly vacuum his apartment while watching X-Files on Netflix. <laughs> Slip those panties off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, uh, if you've ever dreamed of seeing a man wake up around noon, make coffee, and then use proper coaster technique. <laughs> Bust out that lube, yeah, all right, thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs>